going on? It's Ron Pascal here with Digital Brand Boosters. And I made a previous video on how to connect a domain. Uh, pretty much if you bought a new domain name and you have name service to it and you have a hosting account, I made a video on how to connect both of those together to get your website going. And right now I just did that for this domain titled fantabulousfoods.com. You can see that I successfully added this domain to this hosting account. Now the next goal here, what I'm trying to have you do is understand how to install WordPress on a new domain. And right now I'm in Host, HostGator uh, backend and uh, the cPanel. So that's pretty much what you're gonna do. The first thing you're gonna do is you gotta make sure that that domain is added onto the hosting. So you can see here, fantabulousfoods.com was successfully connected. And you can tell that it's also true because once I go to the domain, you can see the index of which means that there's nothing on the website right now, just a plain website. Some uh, websites, when you just connect the host to the domain, they have a page that says Moho Themes or something. It has to have some kind of page that shows that it's successfully verified. This is a form of doing that with uh, uh, this particular domain in HostGator. So it's, it's successfully connected from uh, GoDaddy, which is up here, to the hosting. So pretty much what I like to do is I like to go to quick install and in quick install you can install software so you know I'm in here right now cool just give a second whoa okay cool you'll see here in the middle is WordPress it's free that's fine sometimes they like to charge you but let's just keep it free 99 okay so you can see there's charges here, don't worry about those. What we're gonna do is we're gonna select a domain. So let's select fantabulousfoods.com and try not to put anything here. Sometimes this won't show up, but just keep refreshing and changing it until it's just blank because you don't wanna install WordPress on a different domain because it, it just complicates things and it just makes it a problem and it's hard to log in. It's just too much stress. So just keep this plain, the directory you're installing WordPress on just, just leave this empty and click next. All right, so the blog title, it's it's Fantabulous Foods, I guess. So I'm just gonna do that for now. Um, I don't know how to spell Fantabulous. Here you go. And I'm gonna put uh, DBB, I'm gonna put my name is Ronald Pascal. I'm actually gonna put just Ron, just make it easier. I'm gonna put my email information at digitalbrandboosters.com. I Yes, create a database. Yes, I accept the terms of agreement. I want to install. Okay, now we're just going to wait for it to load and it's going to be pretty cool. What it's going to prompt you with is once you do this, it's going to prompt you with a username and a password. And unfortunately, you can't change that right now. You can only change that after you log in. So make sure you're aware of saving and documenting that information. That way you don't lose it and have to forget my password or anything like that. Okay, so what I usually do is I copy this over just because um, sometimes it likes to disappear. So thank you, HostGator, but not now. So I have the information here. Okay, you're seeing a lot of my personal info, but I have the information here. I'm gonna log in from another screen. Okay, it's asking me for my WordPress. You can see here, if you need to log into WordPress, it's usually fantabulous, whatever the domain is, dot com slash WP admin. And you can tell that WordPress is successfully installed. You can also check to just refresh from the domain and just see what happens. See if there's anything different. You can see here the whole page changed, which means that Moho marketplace thing I was talking about. Yeah, so like WordPress is successfully installed here. Um, so I'm going to log in with the credentials they gave me. So Ron and my password is this eight password. So Ron password is this login and you're in. I usually like to change my password because I don't remember that password and I don't feel comfortable saving it for something I just don't remember. I like to use the same passwords for a lot of my client sites. So, um, that's what I'm going to do with this one. Okay. I'm going to change it generate new password, but I want to pick the new password. I'm going to pick 911 HDBB because that's what I typically use. I'm going to update it. All right. And from there, I'm all set. So visit site, you know, I'm in here. I can log out, whatever. Okay. So 
Um, yeah, that's typically it. And that's how you can set up. Uh, I'm going to actually do the same thing real quick for my team, just so they have it. I'm going to make one for Bruno and, and uh, I think we'll be okay with just those two for now. So Bruno, uh, Bruno at Digital Brand Boosters, Bruno, last name, Barreau. I'm going to just do uh, admin and then he should get a notification too. So that's pretty much it to install WordPress. On a, on a website, I'm gonna log out. And yeah, that's really it. From, from there, you've seen that white index screen that was up previously, and now it's just this screen, all right? So last but not least, sometimes the installation gets screwed up, and you can see view my installs here. So to navigate from this, you can literally, if you go to quick install from the, from the cPanel, like we did before in the beginning of the video, you can see that uh, just you can see my installs here. So in case you screw it up, and let's say you installed it on another domain, you could actually uninstall it here. So you can uninstall WordPress completely and try again um, reinstalling it the same way as before. So install WordPress, my installs, uninstall. It's very simple to do, right? So that's it when it comes to installing WordPress in a domain. Uh, you need any help? Reach out. Other than that, have a great day.